Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to talk about VPN, Virtual Private Network, becoming very popular on the network, uh, primarily for uh, circumventing uh, not just surveillance, but uh, web filtering or restrictions or censorship that some governments uh, have to try to control uh, access that their people have to the internet. Uh, VPN, tunnel. A VPN creates what is called a tunnel over a public network uh, between a com two computers and a host. Now, a tunnel is formed by the encapsulation of packets by an encryption protocol, such as IPsec, uh, PPTP, L2TP, SSL, and TLS, which encrypts the data and adds a new header. Now, encapsulation uh, of packets. Now, packets are information. Uh, that we send over the internet and this information could be in the form of music or videos or letters or any any kind of data uh, that you would create uh, take for example a letter that we might send over the internet the letter would be subdivided into packets uh, packets can only contain so much information so a fairly large letter might be several packets uh, each of these packets uh, we would put a header a uh, header would just be uh, sending information and return information, uh, normally in the form of an IP address. Uh, just like if you're putting a letter in an envelope and addressing it, uh, both with a to address and a from address. Uh, it needs that information in order to be able to send it along its way. Also, each packet is numbered, so if a packet gets lost or destroyed while well, it's going from one uh, computer to another, uh, those can be resent. Uh, so the packets are received counted and uh, the data is put back together but if there's a packet missing it'll just uh, request that packet be resent uh, again the protocols ipsec uh, pptp l2 tp and ssl and tls are probably the primary protocols that are used for encrypting the data uh, and in creating this tunnel a uh, tunnel is just uh, this encrypted data that's encapsulated uh, which makes it pretty secure and because it's secure they call it a tunnel and it's just a tunnel or data going through the internet or a public network uh, that is secure uh, this helps companies to minimize their expenditures of leased lines by using the existing internet lines and high-speed routing surfaces of the public internet and this is to transfer the data more securely if you purchase a leased line and a lot of companies do because they're uh, they have data that they send over the internet that is um, very uh, proprietary and very expensive and uh, they want to keep it as secure as possible so they lease their own lines from the telecommunications companies and that way there, nobody else is using these lines and, the, and the, the data is is very secure government does this and a lot of companies that are uh, very paranoid about losing their data and uh, problem with that though is the lines are expensive and sometimes the equipment that is used for transferring the data is not uh, as fast as the public internet so just by creating a VPN and a tunnel through a public network uh, oftentimes we get higher speeds and better performance and we're not paying for the cost of leased lines uh, nothing on the internet is ever completely secure uh, it's said that the PPTP protocol is said to contain user IDs and passwords in plain text which creates an obvious uh, problem. Uh, today, VPNs is being widely used, mostly again in China, to circumvent the internet uh, website filtering restrictions, the the uh, limitations that they're putting on their people for accessing information over the internet. Uh, again, the VPNs are pretty common today. Both uh, uh, proxy servers are also used uh, to get around uh, some of these web restrictions. Uh, this is done by rerouting the data using the VPN servers to make it appear to the website that just another local visitor is connected. Uh, but it could be a user from another country that's actually connected because the, they're not going to know. Uh, the VPN server could be in their own country and the people accessing that VPN could be from another country. Or it could be just the other way around. It could be another country that is accessing another country's VPN servers and then therefore accessing their local data such as uh, YouTube. YouTube is uh, not uh, worldwide, uh, doesn't have worldwide access, so there's some countries that limit their uh, citizens from accessing it, so VPNs are used quite a bit to access the YouTube. 
uh, VPN subscription software, which is very popular and widely widely used, are applications that substitute the user's IP address and replaces that with the VPN uh, server IP address. So this makes you anonymous, and uh, nobody can really know uh, where uh, you're coming from or where your address is, except for that VPN server will be logging your IP address. Now, some uh, VPN subscription services say they do not log uh, information, and that really depends on the local government, whether they have to or not. Uh, here in the United States, uh, I think everybody is logging uh, because that's required in case there are problems. Uh, we can always locate the individuals because the logs will have their IP addresses. Uh, security. You get what you pay for. Uh, so if security is a concern, you need to use a very reliable company that can help to best safe, safeguard your data. However, oops. However, VPNs are targets and can be compromised and are compromi compromised very frequently. Uh, nothing is totally safe on the internet and again VPNs uh, I showed you that PPTP uh, protocol uh, you have plain text for both user ID and password which creates an obvious problem and since the VPNs now are being targeted more and more they're being compromised uh, more and more uh, for the casual internet server the advantage of not having your data examined by others is surveillance uh, problem that we're having and the cyber criminals uh, you might uh, might just be the benefit you're looking for using a VPN. Since everything is uh, encrypted, uh, the data is not easily uh, extracted uh, from these encrypted packets, so you're pretty safe. But there are some other concerns uh, and other problems, uh, you know, using the internet or VPN, so you're never completely safe. Uh, HTTPS is used uh, by Google and many of the larger websites. Uh, more and more companies, more and more websites are moving to the HTTPS, which, because it does encrypt uh, the session and helps make your data more secure. But, uh, again, nothing is completely secure. Uh, you could have a man in the middle attack or somebody setting up uh, a rogue uh, website or poisoning a DNS or doing something that gets you onto a bad website, and then they are able to uh, capture your data and get your information. Uh, free, v free VPN services. There's a lot of free things out there, but uh, again, you need to be very careful. Uh, there's some surveys and reports and some analysts have suggested that many, many of the third-party free services, these uh, free VPN services, are nothing more than criminal enterprises trying to gain access to your data, your personal information, and maybe your valuable data. So the Internet's turned into the wild, wild west, and uh, you need to be very concerned and very careful. Uh, trying to go with a company that you're familiar with or a company that is noted to be very reliable uh, would be what you need to do. The free, the free VPN services or even some of the free proxy servers uh, are probably things you need to stay away from. Uh, well, that's it on VPN. We talked about VPN becoming a tunnel in the tunnel term. Uh, is really coming from an encapsulation of that data going through a public network. Uh, since that data becomes pretty secure because it's encrypted, uh, we call that data moving through the public network as a tunnel uh, because it's not easily accessed. Well, VPNs are becoming more and more popular. Uh, the free ones uh, I would stay away from, but if you need to use a VPN because you're concerned about possible surveillance of, of you on the Internet or you want to secure your data, there are a lot of good services out there. You just need to be careful that you get a good one. And uh, good luck. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, my next one I'll probably do the VPN uh, versus the proxy server. Thanks again.